YouTube Creator Studio up, and then I have a lot of videos that are coming out soon. Um, I have okay, never mind. Only two that are coming out soon. Also, did you happen to watch my channel update video? I did. Yes. I also I wanted to just mention I also watched the the Florida One Wheel stream while we were like just just live. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it was there. Okay. Um, I'll screen share this to you real quick, and then let's just see here. Window capture. Oh, actually, it records the the video audio as well, so we we shouldn't have to sync it up. It's awesome. Goated. Oh crap. Um. Um. I gotta. I'm gonna remove that and then just add this. Wait, why am I? Do That's not how you do it. I'm dumb. Um. This one. This is like the world's this. creakiest chair. I'm so confused right now. Dude, I got creak here. Hang on, give me a moment. Oh. Actually, it's a lot better now. Nice. Um. Smoother video. Alright. Is Yalis in? I'm in, yeah. Let us view. Right. This video is one year late. Um, our volume's good. So a few times in my That's YouTube good, yeah. career, I've made references to a certain video that I had planned for a while, but I was never able to release in full. The video in question is my Rango review. Originally a school project, <laughs> actually. So I the remember Rango review, that. Yeah, this is so like I put up the uh, what is it called the preview for this in my unreleased content because I was too lazy to transfer all the video files back into my PC from my hard drive. So one day I was like, okay, I'm feeling nostalgic. I want to watch this video back. So I transferred all the files back, accessed the project again, and I was like, oh my god, it's all, it's all still here. So I was like, you know what, what if I just republish this? Or not republish this, just publish it in roll. Because the only thing you've really gotten to see was the first three minutes of it. And it's still unfinished, and I'm not going to finish it, so. <laughs> Technically, it was for a uh, writer's club, which is ironic coming from someone who's recording a video right now. This video was basically a school project. It was an optional one, but it never came to fruition, so nothing ever happened in school, basically. But recently, I started thinking about it again. I wanted to see those ancient edits that I had, those... Ooh, just awesome, crispy edits that I had back then. So here I am today to tell you a bit of a nostalgic tale of a project that could never come through properly. Let's get it. Ignore this part. Um, let's get it started. The Rango the Undertale reveal. font. So, uh... Whoa, squeaker ONX33! <laughs> Did he come from the article from school? So along with gaming content, I also want to begin long style movie reviews. And because it's early days, I'm going to start with animation because it's a lot more simple. Maybe if I was going for simplicity, I shouldn't have started with Rango. Oops. One thing that's super interesting is that this film is decidedly not a kid's film. What? Some themes that are explored. You know, I don't feel very... I, oh, I don't feel great showing this off. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna endure, but like, my god. It's beautiful so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Why did I make myself do this? Because it's funny. Well, part in this film are really adult for a movie made by who? Nickelodeon? Want to talk about identity crisis? This is the film for you. But other than that, this is just a really good movie that isn't really a kids' film. I feel like it's really cool that this film is not. See, a lot of these lines I had to re-record and re-record because my audio quality just was not good or my inflection wasn't very good because at the time my commentary was terrible. It sounded like I was reading from a script. 
Yeah. Oh. I feel that, dude. Let's get back into it. Yeah. I'm not afraid to be different from other animated filmmakers like Disney and Pixar. So, why don't we just dive into a different type of video from what I normally do? This is my... So this part I had to artificially add in because the actual version got copyrighted, so I put in Martin Cabello. Nice. Batman shirt I'm wearing for when my wife gets home. You see, while I'm working on my reverse aging, things are going rather well. I had a meltdown in the Goodwill the other day. So in this repetitive sequence, a little boy told me <laughs> babies are made by kissing a girl with tongue. And my wife, over the holidays, gave me some tongue. So I'm going to spit on this. And then I'll tell him if he's right and I'm pregnant. One of these, and I'm gonna spit on it. And if it um, comes back positive, he'll be right. But there's a good chance I'm pregnant for a seven-year-old boy. Well, actually, he's nine now. Somebody asked me to blink real fast if I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, one question. How is Rango this phenomenal? One is question. Like, Explosion. <laughs> Dude, okay, this video, do you know the YouTuber Shafrilis Productions? I do not, I don't think. Okay. Shafrilis. It's right there, Shafrilis Productions. He just does, like, YouTube review con- like, movie review content, and I don't really watch him that much anymore, but, like, banger channel, um... And I based a lot of this video off of just, like, his editing style and stuff. So if you want to get a lot of the context for, like, just the edits in this video, feel free to go watch his channel. That is interesting. Seriously, this movie was made by Nickelodeon. How many movies have you heard that were made by Nickelodeon and didn't do good? <laughs> the animation is stunning. The characters are like... You know what I realized? What? I realized this literally the other day. Hang on. Good. Surf's Up 2 wasn't made by Nickelodeon. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It was made by Sony Animation. Oh. I, I literally, I realized that the other day, because you know what? Shafrilis did a video on every single Sony Animation Pictures... He did, like, a ranking of each Sony Animation Pictures film. And Surf's Up and 2 was in this there. this was... This was the bottom of the list. <laughs> this movie was the bottom of the list. What a standard to set. Surfs up two ways. You wanna know you up. wanna know You wanna know who this guy is down at the bottom? Chad. That's John Cena penguin. That's John That is John Cena penguin right there. John Cena the penguin. Incredible. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit more about the Surf's Up lore um, later on in the video, because it does come up again. But, uh, yeah. J just wait. Yeah. <laughs> the animation is stunning. The characters are likable. The story is phenomenal. The soundtrack slaps. How does this all work so well? Well, I've watched this movie since I was young. The coolest thing about this movie is that I'm still finding things I haven't noticed. Can I point out how loud the music is? Yeah, that's that's a pretty easy mistake to make early on. I still make that yeah, sometimes. But like, it's really hard. At the time, I I was like super like okay, the music needs to be prevalent, and now I'm sort sort of like making music a little bit more subtle in my videos. Yeah. Um, like I genuinely part of me re-released this video three times. It's like just. Not just the Rango review, like, this this video is one year as late. I re-uploaded this three separate times. First time was because that audio got uh, copyrighted. Yeah. The second time was because... The second time I re-uploaded it was because, like, at the end, there's one more section where I just do, like, a quick, like, monologue about this entire thing. The audio was too loud, or the music was too loud, and I it genuinely bugged me so much that I had to re-upload it, so... Yeah. I usually just, like save a copy of a video and then like go through it three times before releasing it because re-uploading is just a hassle i don't want to have to get into yeah at the time i was like just way too lazy to like work on that for some reason and then it finally is like processed and then it's uploaded and i'm like oh this does not sound good so i go back and i re-upload it which takes like an extra hour of time so that's you know that's not that annoying i guess <laughs> 
Uh, this video is one year late by ONX33. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's go. So many things could have gone wrong for this movie. Like, some things with the story, which I will get to. But they twisted those bad elements and turned them into the best versions of themselves. So, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I'm trying to... The story follows a sheltered gecko named... Well, he's never actually given a name in the story, other than his stage name being Rango. He's thrown into the heat of the Mojave Desert after a potential car crash. I want to point out a quick positive of this video. I, I, I'm sorry I keep pausing, but one positive that I have about this video is the use of like the B-roll footage of like the actual movie. Um, ever since I got into my broadcasting class, I've no, I like I've learned the importance of B-roll footage, and it especially makes me appreciate what I did even back then. Because like this part right here, where it goes like Same being Rango. where it says Rango, and then it flashes back to the title for a second. I like that. That is sort of like satisfying in my editor's brain, right? Yeah, there. it is. So, it looks very nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Even though you're complimenting me when I was terrible at editing. <laughs> He's thrown into the heat of the Mojave Desert after a potential car crash. After the commotion, he meets another unnamed character, an armadillo that was run. He tells the gecko? I'm just gonna call him Rango. The armadillo tells him about the spirit of the West. Rango, just wanting to get to water, ignores the story and heads to the small town of dirt. During his trip, he hitches a ride with the love interest, Beams. Okay. My eyes! Once he arrives, he learns about the drought that has hit the town. One of my favorite things about the world building is that the water is currency in dirt. Rango unknowingly enters the saloon and finds that the only thing they drink is cactus juice, the equivalent of alcohol. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, this is not a. <laughs> I like that one. That I. I can see that being like the main attraction of like a shit post status or something. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. <laughs> I like uh, that. This is not a kid's movie. <laughs> there's so many guns, there's a ton of drug use, and mild swears. If I ever see you again, I will take your soul straight down to hell. I'll game end in myself. Anyway, this is where Rango establishes his... <laughs> I love that video so much. I'll game end him myself. I'll game end him myself. Character. He fakes his identity to be a legendary sheriff named, you guessed it, Rango. The rest of the story follows him and the town's quest to find the mother load of water. The best thing about this story is that it subverts the typical liar revealed story. The scene that reveals that Rango is not the real Rango is not sad or crushing because if you've seen this movie, you would know that there is the threat of Gaiman if he doesn't get out of the town as soon as possible. Most stories that have the liar revealed. Did you notice how my mic quality changed a little bit right there? Uh, yeah. Was was that like a censoring? Did did you have to take it out because it said death or something? No, 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 no. Um, hang on. Game in. If he doesn't get out of the town as soon as possible. Most stories that have the liar revealed. Oh. <laughs> okay. See, my... that's so subtle, dude. My mic quality was so bad back then. Like, it would be like kind of good on on some days, and then some days it would be like just terrible. And this. This part right here, I had to reduce the audio so much because there was just fuzz in the background. So I did the best that I could, but you could definitely hear the mic change. Yeah. One of two moments. Either one, they do the scene and it's just awful, it's terrible, it's why would they even think about doing this? And the second road... You know, I'm sorry, they, there isn't a second road. Never mind. Cut the recording. Whenever a liar revealed scene is done poorly, it's almost to the point that it's cringy because it's so overdone in film. But you probably don't want me to talk about that story thing anymore. So Let's true. Let's talk about that character interaction and that comedy thing now. This is a funny movie. Why not? This is where the, uh, <laughs> this is where the, uh, the preview would have ended. So this is all new content right here. Oh, nice. By the way, guys, if you don't want to be bombarded by Nintendo Desert Level music anymore, I suggest you click off the video. What other video games can you find that have desert levels? Let's be real. So what's funny about this is that the characters in this movie play off each other better than most Pixar films. 
which, considering that this movie was made by Nickelodeon, that's kind of saying something. Also, I'm sorry about bashing Nickelodeon so much in this video, but come on, I'm never not going to be angry that we could have gotten a good surfs up to... But the main group of characters is formed after the last of the water is stolen by bandits. Our main group goes on an adventure to find the colony that stole the water, uncovering mysteries to who it could be. Some of the side characters introduced are better than the main characters. There's a rabbit doctor that's missing an ear. Alright, which one of you fellas need to check up? A chicken with its eye shot out with an arrow. And there's even a guy that plays the spoon. So true. Nonetheless, these characters Dude. have really fun interactions and good moments sometimes. There's almost not a bad character in the bunch. One of my favorite things about these characters is the villains. I can't with that. I'm sorry. That that one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Let, let's move on. Right before I remember it. Let's see, there's the mayor of the town, who he's basically like the head honcho. He controls all the water in the town. Basically, he he's just a mob boss. There's Rattlesnake Jake, which is basically just his right hand man, and my personal favorite character in the movie. And then there are the mayor's cronies, which they're just kind of there. But let's talk about funny thing. Comedy and Rango. Oh, oh, dude, do you remember when oh. that was considered funny? Dude, I don't want to. <laughs> And that comes up later on in the video too. That I, oh. I love the Grubhub commercial Dude. because it, it was a successful ad campaign because everybody shat on it. <laughs> like you know you know Grubhub for being the cringy commercial, but damn do you know Grubhub. It worked so well. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you you discovered Grubhub because of that commercial. Yeah. <sighs> I just I do not want to see it again. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that meme PSD. Compared to other animated movies, like oh. the entire movie in general, it reminds me a lot of Shrek on how they take real life concepts and transform them into whatever the movie is about. In this case, it's a twist on poverty in society. Instead of money, is water. One plot development is about Beans's ranch being in the way of the mayor's plot to convert the town into a metropolitan paradise where he can be in power. And then they're talking about loans and territory and. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still only a freshman in high school. That isn't really comedy, but that premise leads to it. For example, there's a scene at the bank where a mother and her son withdraw some water. The son reaches for it, and the mother goes, Hands off, Mordecai! Uh, That's the strength of your college education! I don't have footage of this. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't have footage of this, so I'm gonna use the Grubhub ad instead. <laughs> because it's gonna be so funny in here. it's so funny, yeah to say it out loud. That's the only example I can really think of right now, but oh, other than that I'm, stuff, I shuddered there isn't I saw a that. ton else that is truly unique. There's some dumb jokes here and there, but nothing laugh out loud funny. Just Can we pause real quick? I wanna just I wanna just point something out. Point something out real quick. The the freaking the one eared bunny when he lifts up his head and the ear goes swoosh, that makes me so happy. That looks so fluid. <laughs> That's the only example I can really think of right now, but other than that setup, there isn't a- Swoosh. Ton of <laughs> it looks so nice. I don't know why I freaking pointed that example out. Example I can really think of right now, Hang on. but other than that- Just one else that is truly is. unique. There's some dumb clubhead music- The movie is pretty. Dude, did you know that the movie is pretty? It's real pretty. The movie is pretty. I like that. I like looking at this movie. I like watching this movie. I supplied you with Cuphead music during this portion because, uh, if you know Cuphead, the animation in that game is great. Oh yeah, Rango. Incredibly funny. The animation is probably the most interesting thing to talk- That was incredibly funny. That was incredibly funny, and you get a Grammy. Thank you. <laughs> about in this movie. My favorite thing about it is that it isn't afraid to make its characters look gross or make you, the viewer, feel uncomfortable. The environments look rugged, worn out, like they've been there for years and years. The water is also ties in here. Everything is dry. Because A, it's in a desert, and B, because there is no water. Because they're in a desert. <laughs> Something else that's cool- <laughs> <laughs> That whole like 10 second segment was just so well edited. You got all the jokes crammed I... in there. I enjoy that one. The water. That's that's like something I would edit today, but like I would add a little bit more polish to it, like a better font on the letter A. Yeah. <laughs> Conflict also ties in here. Everything is dry because 
Because A, it's in a desert, and B, because there is no water. Because they're in a desert. <laughs> Something else that's- <laughs> I wrote that on the script, and I was like, oh my god, I'm a genius. <laughs> cool about the animation is that they took an evolutionary take on motion capture, or as you may know it as mocap. Actors did their parts in real life, and the animators took those shots and animated around them, saving time in large shots like the canyon chase. Rango is a great movie, So but true. I must be fair and go over a few issues that I do have with it. I love the way they handle oh my the light revealed plotline. But I don't Pause like it. how when Rango does come back, literally everyone in the town forgets about how he lied. I get that Can the town is it? in trouble because of the mayor and- Oh yeah, I just, I just realized something. Rattlesnake Jake has a Gatling gun on the end of his tail. It's a Rattling gun. Yeah, that's gun. his thing. Ra I'm gonna un- uh, I'm gonna un- um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave the call real quick. <laughs> I did not get rattling gun. Rattling gun, dude. Rattling gun. <laughs> that is so awesome. Alright, back to Rango. Yeah. <laughs> but to just forget that the person who literally lied to the entire town about being their savior, that's kind of crazy. So like true. I said earlier, I don't really think the movie is that funny. Not that the jokes they make don't land, but it's just a lack of jokes that make it not as funny as it could be. The next thing isn't the movie's fault, but it's... So tired. People often dislike this movie because Reference? of the animation, and more specifically the character animation. They say it's too disturbing for them, so they drop the film and never give it a chance. I implore the movie for going with this unique and unconventional animation style. To be honest, I think these are the only problems with this movie, though. Overall, this is the definition of an underrated film. I wish more people would start talking about it. I give it a 9 out of 10. Bye bye! Ah! 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 Rick and Morty credits jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was there, I'm gonna be honest. Give me a real spook. Alright, so brace for impact real quick. Yeah. Awesome video game reference right here. Whoa, I'm back. Whoa. Well, I guess since I'm reborn, I can keep telling you about Rango. Of course, that's what I'm gonna do with my second chance at life. <laughs> Yo! Nope, that's it. That's the end right there. That's the end? After this. Um, that's the I end. I cannot find the rest of that recording. It is all gone. I'm not joking. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Honestly, it made me really happy to just watch this entire video back. This is probably one of my most nostalgic videos, like, to date, other than, of course, my first two videos, which I actually just republished, so uh, you guys can go watch that right now if you want to go, um, cringe. Honestly, if this tells you guys anything about, like, video editing and just long projects, um, just try and find something to stay committed to. I just tried to tackle such a big project when I didn't really have the skill set necessary for that, so I got really burnt out really quickly and I wasn't able to finish it, so if you guys just stay properly motivated, then you guys can get through anything. Is Loki barking? I don't know if you guys can hear that in the recording. Just stay inspired, and I'll see you guys later. Also, sorry, this is a fodder upload. So that's it. That's the Rango review. That's awesome. I might make a movie review, actually. I've been, I've been meaning to do something like that. Honestly, it is fun to work on. Oh my god, I see it again. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere, dude. I, I, I can't with this. No more. Go away. How'd the stream go? Uh, big smiley face. That was the biggest smiley face I'd ever have. Tell me... I know you told me about that slew of just bad videos that you did with your sister that one time. Yeah. Are, is there anything like interesting to talk about with those like what, what, What's going on with those well the box concept is not original um, You I deleted most of the oh god. That's another thing My birthday bash. I was trying to do 16 videos for my 16th birthday like a month beforehand that didn't work out so I had to delete most of them, but 
In that, I had oh. like a concept that I never really went through with, where I just have a box of content and the six items. You roll a six-sided die, you get something, and you make uh, like a video out of it. Dude, that would be sick for like me and you to do. That would be cool. We should we should do like maybe for huh. We could probably work to work together on like a birthday bash style video for either your or my birthday next year. Well, my birthday's coming up in February, so Oh. Not that long. Could probably work on that. We shall do the planning behind the scenes. Um anyway, um what do you have to share? I feel like I've been sharing like the entire time. Um well, okay. So Freaking, uh, uh, I would talk about Dodge Party, but there's not, like, much to talk about with that. Oh, 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 oh. You know how, okay, I don't know if you know this, this feeling as just, like, a content creator and editor, but there's, like, a storytelling thing. If you're, like, a, if you're, like, a storyteller, if you got, if you got the, the plot brain where you're working on one project and then in the middle of that project you get an idea for another project so during dodge party i came up with well i didn't come up i basically <sighs> i'm gonna find an image hold on but i got mega distracted with making another game that was based off of a meme that was that was like a a game like a fake game that was for a meme so this is a freaking bing link but have you seen that let me so like bingus oh okay so i have not seen this what is this? This is, um, there was like a Tumblr post like three-ish, maybe two years ago that was just like, it was one of those posts that's like, I had this dream about like this game that was so-and-so and, uh, they, they like made a, like a box cover for it, which is the image you see there. And then everybody started making like gratuitous amounts of sequels and spin-offs that were not actually games they were just more freaking game covers because that's easier to make and so there's like this whole freaking like sprawling fake series of scrimmy bingus games and i was like huh i want to make a freaking scrimmy bingus game because i don't think anyone has actually made a scrimmy bingus game and so i did and i have the base ready i just gotta like make more levels but i've been trying to focus more on dodge party recently so that i'm gonna not deadline myself and release that literally at any given moment so it's awesome oh, yeah um dodge party comes out in two days yeah i'm big guy i'm big i'm big uh programming is what i'm calling it right now is i'm cramming programming Cause that's a joke. You can, that's a rhyme. That's a play on words, and you can that's do a, that. A rhyme joke. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get it, dude. I get it. It's funny and funny. I get joke. Uh, so, is there anything else to talk about with like content creation? Cause, oh, I feel like there's always something. Like, I feel like I always get lucky when it comes to like something that like flows nice like if there's like music that like cuts off at the right point oh yeah and then <laughs> that is like funny i actually you want to know something funny in the uh let's see in your the thing that i edited for you the the gold bed house tribute yes that video i love that video in the part where i highlighted uh sock purge one mm -hmm. right or no it was two it was two the music ended right when it got to the part where you pulled out the third P, and you went Burr. It ended, like, right before that, so it was, like, perfect. And I feel like I always get lucky with those sort of things. Yeah, I, I feel kind of the same way, honestly. There's, there's a... In the Dodge Party trailer, 
I I used that Splitathon song that I like that like I home baked, and it it ended right at the end of the video, and I was like, oh, smooth as butter. It's awesome. Those, those moments are those moments are beautiful. Those like, moments are bliss. I love those so much. Mm-hmm. Absolute bliss. But I feel like that happens like way too often for me. Like it's irregular how much that happens for me. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, there's 110 different opportunities for it to happen at any given time. It's just you notice when it's when it's like that and you don't notice when it's not. So like mm -hmm. if it were to cut out if the music were to cut out right at the beginning of like like right at the end of Sock Purge 2 and then perfectly transfer into another video, then that would have been cool and you would have been talking about that, but you ended up with what you have right now. Mm -hmm. Simply because I was like, oh, this is funny, I should put this in, or no, I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And that just somehow randomly happened and I got lucky. Yeah. Is luck a real thing? Uh, I choose to believe it is because I like referring to luck as a person whenever there's something either really good or really bad happening it it's kind of like a little like a mental coping thing almost see that you, <laughs> yes a coping thing i like that <sighs> i'm confused about that entire concept like i'm i'm a very like scientific person i have like very scientific beliefs and all that mm -hmm. so i don't know how true luck is i think you can be lucky by... No, that's not a good way to put it. I don't know. I'm not sure if luck is a real thing. Well, there's always random chance, and random chance being in your favor most of the time is, I mean, perfectly calculable. It's, it's when you end up going to, like, a casino and getting just like crazy bingos or whatever you do at a casino and just win a ton of money that's like at that point you start believing in the paranormal <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I feel okay here's here's a way i can put it i feel like if i get a series of like oh this didn't go the way i wanted it to then in my mind if i'm like given like okay this thing's about to happen it could either go in my favor or not in my favor i feel like it often, when I think about it going in my favor, I'm like, okay, I deserve this one. I haven't been that lucky recently. I feel like if I think about it like that, then all of a sudden it does go in my favor. Like if I'm waiting like at my desk for a test to come back and I'm like, oh God, please let this be a good one. I've been doing really bad recently. And then all of a sudden I do do good. And I just said doo doo and that's funny. Yeah, that's, that's funny doo doo. I was gonna point that out, but I wanted to let you finish talking. <laughs> We call that trolling right we there. Call it, yeah, we call that a little trolling. We do a little trolling right there. We do a little trolling. I think we should just have five minutes of us going back and forth saying we do a little trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I we, think that would be a really good section for this podcast. That, that would be funny. Can cut out this dialogue so that I can, like, or write on your little timestamp, like, when it happens oh, yeah. so that I can cut it out. Wait, where the hell is the time? It doesn't. It's not saying the time on my on my. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Okay. So like a minute ago ish. Forty seven. Uh, fifty eight. Bam. Nice. We do a little trolling. We do. A little. We do a little trolling. We do a little trolling. It's called we do a little trolling. Oh, X thirty three on YouTube. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. We do a little trolling. Oh, gold bed guy on YouTube. We do, yeah, I agree. We do a little trolling. Um. <laughs> oh, you know what I just remembered? Okay. What? I have another story to tell. So, let's see. Yesterday, yesterday. Yes. Yesterday in my English class, for the, like the last week, we've been preparing persuasive speeches to present in front of the class. Nice. And you know, speeches are always awesome. You're doing um, sales pitches. You're doing sales pitches. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw we're gonna go on Shark Tank and we're gonna convince them to buy our products. Nice. Um <laughs> anyway, so I view myself as sort of a, a decent public speaker. 
um, I think my YouTube experience has definitely helped with that. So I was kind of excited to do this because the teacher was like very open with like what we can talk about. So I was like, okay, internet was one of the, the things we could talk about. So I was like, okay, what can we talk about there? Then I saw one of the recommended topics. It said cancel culture on it. And a little, little funny fun fact, I've actually been thinking about doing a video on like cancel culture and just like an overview of what it's done to like the internet landscape in the last year or Didn't so. Did you do something like that? Alright. The first part of your sentence cut off, what? Didn't you do something like that already? I mean, I did one, I did that Wilbur Soot video a while back. I think that's what I'm thinking but like, of, yeah. I want to do one for where it's like just generally, and by generally I mean I want to complain about dream stands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that the the topic always comes back to dream stands. They're they're but very high that, relevancy top. You can swap to like Korea booze if you want. To what? Korea K-pop stands. I'm sorry. K Korea booze. Okay. See, so yeah, I I felt like I recognized that term at first, but I like I didn't recognize it, but I understood it, so that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> We, so, we communicated um, through freaking wavelengths, and you got the point across. <laughs> you did get the point across. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I want to do cancel culture, because I've already done a little bit of research on this topic. I feel like I know what I'm doing. Anyway, speech day comes yesterday. Yesterday was speech day, and I went up first. I was first that day. And, uh... We're very lenient in that class, so I wasn't worried if I did go up there and, like, bombed, quote-unquote. This isn't, like, a comedy act, but whatever. <laughs> it's um, still a relevant term. So true, so true. Anyway, the I, I went up there, and I was like, okay, I don't need a script. I'm decent at this. I have my script decently memorized. I went up there. I looked at my, my laptop for, like, one second. I was like, all right, bam, 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 bam. Everything's memorized. I shut the laptop. Because at that point, every other person in the class had read off of their script, like, just directly. Like, they were just, like, staring into their, like, Chromebook. Just like, did you know that circus animals are abused? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's not fun to, like, listen to. It's not fun to watch. And so I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to be the one to change that. So I looked at my script for one second. I closed my Chromebook. And I started shitting my pants when I realized that I was unprepared as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went up there and I was like, okay, I had a pretty, I had a decent like start, you know. And then ar around the middle is when I started go like just stuttering, like a like a twat basically. Yeah. <laughs> and I was I spent like there was like a five second period where it felt like forever. And I was just standing up there, just, like, trying to think of, okay, what could be relevant to say? Because <laughs> at that point, it was it was done, like, just trying to remember the script. I was not going back to that. Yeah, I you was were going think, full okay, improv. <laughs> full improv, yeah. So I was able to recollect my thoughts by the end. The ending was probably the strongest part of it. Okay, you want to know the funniest thing? What's the funniest it, thing? I improv talking about Nick Akato Avocado. Because uh. <laughs> I started talking about how content creators, like, when they build up a community around a certain topic, like, say, Minecraft, for example, mm -hmm. say a person gets burnt out of doing that, and then they realize, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not having fun doing this. It's getting me more views, but I want to see how doing this content does. It does a lot worse for them. And then they have to go back and do Minecraft, because... You know, they're not getting views, they're not getting money. So, I brought up the Nick Akato argument of like, okay, this person, he started doing some really unhealthy habits like three years ago, and now he's trapped in his character because he realizes without this character, he can't get views, he can't get money. So, I felt like that was an interesting thing to bring up, and a lot of the boys in my class appreciated that. <laughs> yeah. I will say. My English class is so rowdy. Shout out to those guys. <laughs> Nikocado is just a really sad topic in general. There was... Have you seen the Meat Canyon episode on him? The Meat Canyon? I haven't. I've heard about it, but I, I haven't seen it. It's, it's like... It's very feely. It's very emotional. <laughs> I, I, I probably need to see it then. Like, nor normally the Meat Canyon episodes are just, like, horrifying, and that's what it is. But, like... Okay. <laughs> 
I was sad through most of that. <laughs> Maybe we do that next time on the podcast. Maybe. We've been doing this for almost like an hour, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like a, a good good long bit to do a podcast for. Yeah. So I think we'll talk about a few more things, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? Uh, hold on. Any interesting stories, any interesting things you've done recently other than moving? There was freaking... Uh, okay. Um, it's weird to finally have the Flay movie done. Oh, the the Spider-Man No Way Home, and then the um, the empty feeling once you finish things. Empty feeling once you what was that? Up up in like twelve twenty. What were we talking about with that again? Twelve twenty one. Yeah, I see that. Um, I just forgot yeah, to show you when I made it. Oh yeah, I showed you that scratch game, and you started like. We started talking about when I made it, and then like. You started talking about the floor to the movie and how it was weird to finally have it done. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to feel the same way about that when Dodge Party releases. And then you were like, oh, this is something we can talk about on the podcast. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, one of the things that I definitely feel weird about is, like, just floor to the movie being over. Like, that was such a big project. Like, I know I brought this up at the end of FLA the movie, but it feels so weird to just be done with that and to not have to think about that at least for a little while until you know FLA the movie 2022 comes out (laughs) because I'm gonna be honest I don't know if that one's gonna be as big (laughs) I just I don't know if we have enough content down there for that yeah just the amount of content I made down there this year I can think of like one other thing we can do down there and that actually that was one cancelled thing in FLA the movie this year um, we were going to go down to St. Augustine Old Town, which is actually technically the oldest town established in North America. Funny fun fact. Uh, we were, we were going to go there and, uh, you know, faff around for a little while, you know what I'm saying. But uh, by the time we thought about doing it, it was too late. Like, we were just, we had no time to do it because we were already packing up and stuff. It was too late for that. And actually, that's why uh, content part four is a thing. Because we were like, okay, we can't do Old Town. What else are we going to do? And then I was like, what if we did a continuation of the series that I started a year ago? <laughs> I got a Discord ping. It's from Fix It, Fix It Drops. A 36... A 36... What? No way. What? That is actually False. A 3060 Ti for one hundred twenty dollars. That is actually false. No, I'm. S- you are freaking right now, on. Are you familiar with the the graphics card like market? Yeah, the the dilemma, the situation. Yeah, it's bad because scalpers and stuff. MSRP for a 3060 Ti is $400. This guy's selling it at $118. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. I... Dude, I could buy that right now. I could buy that right now. I gotta, I gotta like, stay on Fix-It so I can get notified for it. The, the Fix-It Discord server. That freaking... Okay. <laughs> He is either freaking around or he knows exactly what is going to happen and he just like he knows it's going to sell in like two minutes and just wants it off of his hands as fast as possible. That or he's a good human being and he's like, oh, I see the situation and I want to make sure that that goes down, play my part in I that. Mean, but like, <laughs> it's Twitter. Here's the thing. 32 3060 TIs were dropped by him yesterday and each of them... Each of them were six ninety nine ninety nine. Damn. It's like seven hundred yeah, bucks. Of these, each of these were uh yeah six ninety nine ninety nine. Cool. 
<laughs> well, that just dropped by. <laughs> I don't even know. Dude, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get my graphics card. That's going to be a pain. Yeah. Luckily, I'm going to be able to live on just my CPU's integrated graphics for a little while. Because I want to see if I'm going to be able to like stream Geometry Dash with that. I doubt I'm going to be able to, but... I mean, I might be able to, because Geometry Dash is a very like CPU-dependent game. Because you're not really rendering the quality of the amount of objects on the screen. You're just rendering the amount of the objects. Yeah, not you're rendering, you're rendering like a lot of cubes. Mm -hmm. So that's where the CPU comes in and the processing ability, so also RAM, which I'm getting 32 gigabytes, so we should be fine. Let me know Let me know what your specs are when you're done, because I want to try building a computer of my own, and I want to... I've been, like, trying to do research, but it's also research, and I do not have the energy to just sit down and look at computer parts for a long time. So I've been, like, trying to piggyback off of other stuff. I was just lucky lucky enough to have, like, a, a source IRL, because I have just this one friend who's just goaded at PCs. I have a friend as well. I I think I have actually Tanks straight up offered to sell one of his old PCs, and I was like, sure, and then I just never did it, and then we left. So... <laughs> um, I put my uh, specs list down there. I saw that, yeah. Is there, like, um, like specific parts that you're getting... Because that's important. I, as well. I have all these. All these are like I have a few of these. Hang on, let me turn on my uh, my face cam real quick. Oh god, I have the the crappy cam, but <laughs> hang on, let me go let me go grab some of my stuff. This is quite a nostalgic really angle. Up here, I'm pretty sure I have my CPU, motherboard, and power uh, power supply. I'll bring the CPU over, and that's it. Because that's the only really interesting thing. Sheesh. Sheesh. Sheesh, as the kids say. Zam, she's a 5600G. <laughs> Ryzen, all Get right. that one, kids, at home? You get that one? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it when, like, people's headphones are off and they can't hear me. I could literally, like, he's about to put them back on, but I could say anything. Everything else I have uh, for Christmas. So, like, my case, my parents bought me that. Mm -hmm. um, cooler, grandparents. Memory, grandparents. Power supply, no, I bought that with my own money. Um, yeah. What else? Wait, was... Did they only... Oh, wait, no, they also bought me storage. I forgot to put storage on this. Um, I'm not gonna... I'll send you, like, a good uh, storage thing eventually, but... Uh, mm. Swag as the kids are saying. Um, so I think that's about good for yeah. the first episode. We, um, we're we good on our, on our little podcast. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do more of these. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Um, so, Aiden, do a quick... Do plug. Do plug real quick. Uh, yeah. Um, play Dodge Party uh, coming out this Christmas. Um... I'm gonna go back to freaking programming after this, maybe. I don't know. Owen said he might wanna play balloons. We might do that as well. Bet. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Big win. All right. Alrighty, I call that one a dub. See y'all later. See ya.